Before this video begins, don't forget you only got about five days left to get entered for our beautiful Camaro ZL1 1LE and our Supra. Right now, every $1 spent at InShaneDesigns.com, link down below, gets you 10 entries for each one, 10 for the 1LE and 10 for the Supra, 20 in total, and that ends in about five days. So make sure you get your entries right now. We will not be doing a bigger entry multiplier than 10 times for this giveaway. So this is the best time to maximize your entries and maximize your chances of taking home one of these beautiful machines. And winning one does not disqualify you from winning the other one. So it doesn't hurt you in any way to enter right now. It only helps you. So make sure you hit that link and I'll see you very soon to give you your new Camaro or Supra. Good morning guys, hope all of you are having a great day. Now we are well overdue for a garage update on the channel and that's exactly what we're doing. Some big news on the vehicles we have now, new cars arriving and at least one car going. But it all begins with bringing the SVJ home from Florida. I couldn't get transport so I decided to drive it and uh, that was uh, probably a mistake but I had fun. You join me in the Aventador SVJ in beautiful Naples, Florida. And uh, we are driving the SVJ all the way back home to Pennsylvania, which is a 17 hour, 1,100, well basically 1,200 mile journey. My arrival time is 825, not tonight, 825 tomorrow morning. This should be really fun. Honestly, I'm excited. And at least I get to listen to this for essentially a full day. This is by far my second favorite car. The ZR1 always will be in a special spot, but this is without a doubt my second. <laughs> it's, it's insane, nothing else is like this at all. SVJ is back and she is incredible. I think really like in contention for the best sounding car ever. Now, the only reason why I can't say like, yes, it is the best sounding production car of all time is because it doesn't have the factory exhaust. So I feel like it's kind of cheating, but it really is one of the most incredible, just unbelievable machines I have ever experienced. And it is absolutely disgusting dirty right now look at that i mean it is awful after its 1200 mile journey but it did well no issues and uh i'm not paralyzed although i, I think i was close now that ladesh is here you guys can hear the svj from the outside finally <laughs> a lot but it's true and no vehicle is it more true than the SVJ currently in the yard because I'll be moving all the vehicles around for a thumbnail but the camera does not do it justice 
at all. Like not even close. Like I have loud vehicles. I've had loud cars for a long time. No <laughs> vehicle is, it goes beyond loud. You know, like things are loud, but when you stand next to an airplane or something, you can feel it like the ground moves. That's how that is when those pops and bangs go off. It's like standing underneath a firework. It's un real truly unreal i hope you guys come out to some events this season because you, you got to hear it you have to hear it uh, standing there now i can't guarantee you won't go deaf but you have to hear it really i think as close to automotive perfection as you can get for me anyway you know it's new enough to be really good it drives great you can drive it every day i do i just drove it 1200 miles no issues um it was the record holder on the ring for a while so it you know it's big and heavy but it can it can boogie so it's new enough to be really good, but old enough to be still so engaging and so raw. Like that single clutch, you really, you're shifting, you're doing something, the car is alive. That NAV12, everything now is going electric, going hybrid, which I think is dumb. I could rant about that for hours. I won't, but I could. Maybe on the podcast channel, I will. But um, I mean, that car, we're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, man, that was, those were the good days. I mean, these, I am living the good day, the good days, the good day right now, driving that car around, having the privilege to drive that car. So I love it, I really love it. It's one of my favorite, by far my favorite supercar ever, and my second favorite car. The only reason the ZR1 is my favorite is because I have a little bit more history with that car, and um, you know, there's a lot of like emotional value, uh, but the SVJ is like, everything else is not even close. It's ZR1, SVJ, and then everything else is like down here. Goes without saying, the Lambo is, I think, a lifer. I mean, that car is, for me, automotive perfection, so I can't see why nothing could ever replace that. Also in the category of lifer vehicles is the Airbus. I don't see Gina ever wanting to get rid of that car. Uh, the only thing, maybe a potential update is they are coming out with the Urs Performante soon, which she might want to get, but then she would have to trade that one in because, you know, why keep two? Um, nice Defender. This to her is like my ZR1, like very emotional about it. So I, I don't, I feel like she'll never trade that in. And it's only got 11K on it in two and a half years. So I don't think it's going to wear out anytime soon. Another quick one to cover, the daily, the Ram TRX, 22,000 miles on the big girl now. And this might surprise you, but that is the most mileage I've ever driven any vehicle I've ever owned, which I think is pretty cool. And that truck doesn't ever get the credit or the screen time, but that's the workhorse of the channel. It does everything. I tow with it, haul with it, and it does the dumb stuff. Like it has the daily, stuff it has to do like every vacation every trip uh, you know anywhere we go normally we're in that truck uh, but it also does the really dumb stuff like the jump the jumping the off-roading it's been to colorado the beach it does all that drag racing like it does just about everything i really can't see getting rid of that either that could be a lifer on to the next blue vehicle although it's not blue anymore it's black uh but i miss it you know i think i might wrap it blue again when it gets home we'll put it right here we'll pretend there it is so the zr1 uh will be back shortly it's at lmr and by the way it's not lmr that's not their fault. Like they're not slow. If I tell them I need something done fast, it'll be done. But I didn't have the money to do the mods on the ZR1 because I'm, I got a few little tricks planned for that car. Uh, I don't want to say that it's going to be faster than the Viper, but I'm kind of planning it that way. We'll see. Uh, however, I think people forget that when I was building the Viper, that was 130 grand. I put the Corvette on the back burner, got the Viper done, now the Viper's done, and the ZR1 is about a week out from being done. So that car will be back very, very soon. And I'm, I'm glad because I really miss it. You know, the Viper, I talked about this a little bit, like a few videos back, but the Viper's really cool, really fast, but it just doesn't do it for me. And I've seen comments from people saying like, oh, you should go faster, but it's not that it's not fast enough. That's not why I dislike it. I shouldn't even say that. I don't dislike it but I like my Corvette a lot more. It's not the speed, um, it's just, I don't know. I just, I'm a Corvette guy, I guess. And I just can't get into the Viper as much as the Corvette. So there you go, ZR1 coming back very soon. And that's a good segue into the Viper. Not a joke, not clickbait. The Viper is for sale and I'm trying to get about 400 out of it. I think it's easily a 300K car. CM 1300 Calvo Motorsports 1300 with a sequential trans, $130,000 build. Somebody, if you want a twin turbo Viper, you're getting a hell of a deal. Somebody's getting a great deal because you're saving a lot of money and there's no weight. 400 takes it home and this is where you guys come in. If you bring me a buyer, like you get me in contact with a person who actually buys the car, five G's to you, 
Cash App, PayPal, whatever you want, five grand. Great little payday for someone out there. So make sure you get the word out. The car is for sale. I haven't had a single problem with it since getting it back. But, you know, for me, I just, I like my Corvette more. And like I said, I might be making that car faster anyway. So I don't need two that are doing the same thing. I know some people will be sad, but I'd rather make a few people sad and be real than be fake and try to please everyone. You know, I, I have to be honest. I always am with you guys. I tell you everything that I really think. And I'm just not super into the Viper. Big, big boog pig. Still eating and enjoying McDonald's, that's for sure. Another lifer is the Blazer. Now, this is one I never thought would be a lifer because I was literally trying to break it, but it just kept on living. So now, now it's my dedicated off-road rig and a really refreshing vehicle for me because I don't ever have to worry about it. Like I take it off-roading and I just have fun. It doesn't matter if it gets scratched or dented, or like nothing matters. So it's really just pure fun. And the back wheels are off of it because Bobby had to borrow them for his upload. <laughs> which got a little bit crazy. So if you wanna see that, check out his channel, but they'll be back on the rear shortly, and then we'll be going back to Roush Creek at some point in the near future. Really quickly, the Corrado. Now this is my brother. Everyone always asks about this thing. I get more offers on this than any other vehicle I own, but uh, I am working on it. The goal is to have it be like a showroom quality Corrado at some point, and that will be happening soon. I'll get to it, but that is a car for my brother. He sold it when he joined the military and he travels a lot right now, but he's almost retired. He's on, I know he's, he's a lot older than me, but he is almost retired from the military and then I will have it done and get it back to him. Now on to the Camaro ZL1 1LE. This car is phenomenal. Let's take her out on a little POV drive. The 1LE. Now this car was the shock of my life when I drove it, by the way, because I didn't think any car, much less a Camaro, could be this good. It is a true, true driver's car. I remember it won Motor Trend's car of the year like two years ago. And I was thinking to myself, how could that be? How could the Camaro be that good? But it is, like the trans is perfection. Short and stubby, but feels really good in your hand. And I know I'm setting myself up for a sex joke, but it's true. <laughs> just, just amazing, it really is phenomenal to drive and I'm having more fun than I should be. Yeah, a true driver's car. And I think this is one, now yeah, I'm gonna say this because I do want people to enter and I do want my business to do well. So full disclosure, I admit, but I'm also gonna say it because it's true. I think this will be a very, very collectible car one day. Uh, values are already going up. Doug DeMiro just made a video on this and you gotta think like what makes a car become a future collectible? And it's usually a car that isn't appreciated as much as it should be now, which this isn't because people don't know how good it is. And it's usually a car that's at the, at the end of its era, you know, and this is the end of an era. It's the last Camaro. They discontinued that if you didn't know. GM, GM put the kibosh on the Camaro completely. Maybe someday it comes back as an EV, but that's not gonna be, it, it won't be the same anyway. So even if they bring it back as an electric car, it won't really be a Camaro anymore anyway. So it's the last Camaro and it's the best version of the last Camaro. It's not only the ZL1, but the 1LE, the better, more rare, more driver focused, better ZL1. So I think it really will be a collectible. I think values are only gonna keep going up. Um, a big V8 manual, like these, these are going away. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it'll move. The only thing it needs is to be louder and we're doing that. Corsa uh, Extreme on the way for sure, but it's a phenomenal car to drive. I know I said that already, but it, it just, I wish all of you could drive it. This is the, the best I can do. I can give you the POV view, but I, I can't get you behind the wheel. Um, it's really good. It's got the auto rev match too. You can turn on if you want. I don't usually use it, but how that works is if you go to downshift, it'll blip the throttle for you. So every shift can be perfect if you, you know, it literally does it for you. You don't have to do it. You don't even have to be on the gas. Um, yeah, it's pretty epic. And hear the blower again, butter, just butter. Now watch, if I go third gear, blip it up. Now watch this, one finger. 
<laughs> butter. The lightest little touch will shift it. Unreal. Get entered, $1 equals 10 entries for this and the Supra. $1, 20 entries in total, and winning the Supra does not disqualify you from winning this car. So if you're thinking, well, I don't, I don't really want the Supra, I want the Camaro, still get entered now because you can win both. It doesn't hurt you. And the universe, if you win the Supra, the universe does not know you won the Supra. So you still have the same chance of winning the Camaro uh, even if you win that car. So make sure you check out the website, hit that link down below. We've got all kinds of new merch, by the way. We have the Save the Sticks shirt is back for this car. The Camaro Generation shirt we brought back for this car. We never had that one before, but all of our Generation shirts do really well. So there's a lot of new stuff on the site I bet you have not seen yet. When you see this upload, you only have like, I think five days left to get 10 times entries for this car and then the Supra ends in like five days. So make, like I said, make sure you get entered now because you're getting double, double the entries for the same price. It's a pretty good deal. Although I did have a lot of vehicles at the house, that was not even all of them, but don't worry, I didn't forget. So here is the, the C4 and she's undergoing just a few very minor, minor modifications. The full video on that will be out very soon. Oh my God, that is amazing. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh. Then the last vehicle, which I'm down here because the wind is awful. Building your house on top of a hill has like a hundred good things about it. In fact, I don't think you'd ever not, I don't think you'd even notice this unless you film, but the wind kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, so the last one is the OG Dirty Max. And the, the videos for that truck I upload on the family channel, the Mike and Gina channel. Um, so check that out if you haven't yet. But uh, work has not been getting done on that truck. Same reasons as the other stuff. I've had a lot of other projects, really expensive ones, but now work is going to resume. So my, my goal is to have that truck back up and running again very soon. But I just, I have so much going on that it's been, every time I like focus on it, something else comes up but it will be back soon, I promise. And again, if you wanna see the updates on it, the family channel. No garage update would be done until we get the full lineup pick. And I'll say that I stole this from Stradman, but I love it because not only does it make a great thumbnail, but it's really cool to kind of see like, to have those snapshots of the garage throughout the years. Really cool to see the updates. And when you have a picture like that, you can easily tell what cars you had at what time. Um, so SVJ, Keeper, Corrado, the off-road rig, the Viper getting sold, the ZL1 giveaway, the ZR1 will be back soon, uh, the Daily Rex, and that is it. Pretty quick garage update for you, and that is the news for the channel. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to enter for the ZL1. Take care, guys. Have a great night.